Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of coffee video and I'll show you how to make Tim Hortons instant coffee at home. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas. If you appreciate variety, please go ahead and subscribe. So I have another uh, how to make Tim Hortons coffee at home and one of the viewers suggested that I should make another uh, video on how to make Tim Hortons instant coffee at home and thanks for the idea and that's what I'll show you today. So I'll go through the steps you need to take to make uh, Tim Hortons instant coffee at home and uh, if you follow the steps then you should be able to enjoy a perfect cup of uh, Tim Hortons instant coffee at home. So let's start. So the ingredients you need to make a perfect cup of Tim Hortons instant coffee they're all here and I'm just going to go over them quickly. So the first thing you need, you would require the Tim Hortons instant coffee, uh, which is right here. And I have dark roast here, but you can use the regular strength coffee or regular roast, but I like dark roast. And if you uh, look here, then actually they have, uh, they do have some sort of instructions here, but I'm just going to go into uh, more detail and I'm, I'll show you more, uh, give you more information. And then you need to uh, boil water. So I have electric kettle, but you can just use a regular pot to uh, boil water it's the same thing and then you'd require some sort of creamer or milk so I have here um, four different types of milk or creamer so the first thing I have is organic soy milk you can use that uh, which is okay and then you can use the organic regular uh, organic milk uh, this is like uh, almost a four percent and then I have a coffee creamer and then I have a uh, I have an evaporated milk uh, if you are using condensed milk then definitely it's going to add some sugar and you have to uh, lower uh, the strength uh, or you have to lower the quantity so according to my measurements or the test I have done uh, you'd require about 10% of uh, liquid milk or which it could be like you know organic milk regular milk or uh, the soy milk of the amount of water you're taking so for example uh, in this cup we're going to take about um, let's say six ounce of water or slightly above six ounce but we're going to take 10% of milk uh, in here which is going to be you know in proportionate to give you the best uh, color and the best test and the other thing I would like to mention that uh, anytime you're making coffee uh, take very cold water that's going to bring the most flavor and color and it's going to you know taste better as well so the first thing I'm going to start with uh, taking very cold water from the faucet so let's come here and I'm going to run the water for a few seconds just to get really cold water and uh, I'll just give it another few seconds and looks like it's coming colder so let's wait another 10 seconds. Okay, I have like kind of ice cold water. So I'm just going to take here and I'll show you the quantity. So here I have uh, close to uh, six ounce. It could be six and a half ounce. Uh, this is a standard size cup. So you're looking at about six, six and a half ounce. And I'm going to put this in the um, kettle. Uh, so let's take a look here. So we have this one here and I'm just going to quickly put it in okay so I'll start the boiling process uh, and then uh, you know I'll prepare the other rest of the stuff so let's turn this on and you can see that uh, the light is on and let, let it boil so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to uh, take about 10% uh, of uh, milk of six ounces of water so it should be about like you know one ounce and in order to do that let's just open this here and I have uh, like you know a measurement I know how much is like enough uh, 10 percent of what this cup is but uh, if you are not sure you can just like you know use a spoon or measurement uh, cup to you know take the amount so I'd say just about uh, right here uh, it should be you know uh, 10 ounce so I'll just uh, close this here and in terms of instant coffee we are going to take about one teaspoon or lesser of the instant coffee now what I noticed that if you're taking more than one teaspoon for this cup or let's say for six seven ounce of water 
then the taste gets bitter and it gets darker so it's not going to give you a very nice taste and color so I'm just going to start with about lesser than one teaspoon which should be actually this is one teaspoon uh, right here so if I take let's say like this and I can adjust it later on if I feel like you know I need more so here I have about one uh, teaspoon and I'm going to put it in here so you can see that you know it's uh, right in here and if you prefer then you can add sugar or honey so I have uh, some sugar right here so I'm just going to you know put in like uh, two cubes of sugar which is uh, four grams each but you can go uh, like in you know, a more on or less but what happens if you're using condensed milk then definitely don't put too much sugar because condensed milk already has added sugar so right now we're just waiting for the water to boil and once it does then we're just going to you know power some water and see how it comes out so this is very easy and convenient way and the water a kettle is very cheap you can buy it like you know for 15 20 dollars but definitely you can use a kettle as a, a, use a pot as well that would do but always take a very cold water so it looks like our water is coming to an end so we'll just you know wait for a few seconds and we'll you know uh, see how our coffee comes out so if it doesn't come out the first time uh, you know uh, don't be disappointed just keep trying and then you're going to get uh, the best or perfect once you try a few times so I'm even not sure at this point that this is going to be the perfect one but it might be the perfect or it might be I have to I might need to add more sugar or less sugar or you know coffee or uh, uh, the water so let's take it let's see how it goes so looks like we have uh, boiled water right here so I'm just going to pour it in here and let me just see if I can show you how it looks like so here we have and then here uh, let me just like you know take a look here so I'm just putting it very slowly just to show you but you don't have to like you know you can just put it all the way uh, or up about 85% uh, of the cup don't fill up the cup that's gonna give you like you know uh, some problem to sip okay so I have about right here and I'm just, I'm just going to steer this and see how things look and you can see that so far it looks good so it looks a little bit still kind of on the dark side so I'm just going to put little more water so let's just take a look here and you can see that the cup is about 80 percent full right now and i'm go just going to steer it again okay so you can see that i have a cup of instant tim hortons coffee and I, i'm just going to take a quick sip and see if the taste is perfect or I just need to add more like you know cream or milk or uh, coffee so just give me a second here it feels okay uh, but you know I don't mind putting a little more coffee in it uh, it's I just want it a little bit more uh, darker so I'll show you the amount very little and I'm just going to put it in and I'm just going to stir it a little bit more so let me just you know take a sip take a sip again uh, this seems to be a perfect cup of Tim Hortons instant coffee at home and uh, another thing to mention that you know if you're adding regular milk definitely you're not going to get a kind of like you know thick or the taste of from the creamer or condensed milk uh, it's going to give you diff a little bit different test, uh, but if you're adding creamer, then you're going to get a different test. Uh, so this is my like you know experience that uh, if you are add creamer, then it gives slightly better taste and better color. But you know I'm okay with milk as well, and I usually don't use condensed milk, but sometimes I use condensed milk. So here we have a perfect cup of Tim Hortons coffee. So you don't have to go outside home uh, to enjoy a perfect cup of Tim Hortons coffee. And another thing to mention that. Uh, for sure 
the instant coffee is never going to taste exactly like the you know brewed coffee uh, they both of these have different taste and different color and different uh, you know looks so that's the Tim Horton uh, instant coffee or any instant coffee in my opinion tastes a little bit uh, lesser than the regular strength uh, brewed coffee so if you want even a better uh, or more perfect coffee which is more close to the real Tim Hortons coffee when you go to Tim Hortons and buy then use uh, the Tim Horton ground uh, you know grind coffee uh, and Tim Hortons like you know dark roast coffee and I do have a video on that exactly how to make that which I'll put a link in the description box below but for now I'm happy with my Tim Hortons instant coffee and uh, again let's uh, wrap up everything so Take about 10% of like you know milk if you're using regular milk if you're using like you know concentrated milk then you should be even using lesser amount and if you're using like you know a creamer then try with like you know two spoon or one and a half a spoon and adjust it uh, based on your needs and uh, the coffee should be about one teaspoon or slightly more don't put in too much it's gonna make the coffee bitter and darker so for the first couple of times uh, you may not even get the right taste you're looking for but if you uh, you know keep doing it then definitely you're going to be uh, making the way you want and it's going to give you the best color flavor and taste so that's all for today if you like what you see please go ahead and like this uh, video so more people can uh, find out about this video and if you appreciate a variety and idea then definitely go ahead and subscribe thank you for watching uh, there will be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you